Hello and welcome to Terminal Design, I'm Dage and today we're gonna place an image inside the screen frame of a mobile phone. Go ahead and download these two photos from the link in the description and open this one in Photoshop. We're gonna put this photo on this screen, so drag it and drop it here and then hit enter to confirm. In the layers panel, let's click this eyeball here to hide the top layer. Now in the tools panel, find the polygonal lasso tool, you might need to click and hold to reveal it, and let's create a selection around the screen. I'll zoom in using Ctrl or Command plus, hold down the space bar to move the view, and click once to add a point, click once again to add another one here, another one there, and the last one here. If you accidentally click somewhere else, don't cry, just hit backspace to delete the point. And if you go back to the first point, you can click on it once to finish the selection. In the layers panel, turn on the layer on top and click on it once to make sure it's activated. And then click this icon here to add a layer mask. If you don't know what a layer mask is and how it works, don't cry. Just watch my video about layer masks. The link is in the description. So now our photo is cropped inside the screen. But obviously we need to be able to move it around. And if we use the move tool to do that, it just doesn't work. It doesn't work! Uh, don't cry. <laughs> oh, that's because the layer mask is moving with the layer. We need to unlink the mask from the layer. And to do that, go to the layers panel and click this icon. The link is gone, but the mask is still activated. And if we use the move tool now, we'd be moving the mask, not the layer. So click once on the layer's thumbnail to activate the layer itself. And now we're moving the photo. You can hit Ctrl or Command T to free transform. Hold down the Shift key to scale proportionately. You can move it around. You can rotate it. You can do whatever you want and then hit enter to confirm the transformation. Now, if you think the edges are too harsh, you can simply activate the mask and then go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and blur the mask a little bit. And that's it. That's it, man. That's it. Go away. Okay, Go okay, away. we're leaving.